What's good, everyone? Welcome back to Sonic Core, guys. We have part two of the Super Sonic event. Super Sonic is in the game. Super Sonic is in Sonic Speed Simulator. Part one was unlocking Silver the Hedgehog and collecting the Chaos Emeralds. Now, we need to power up the Chaos Emeralds so that way we can unlock Sonic Super Form. We've been waiting so long for this in the, to be in the game. It's been over a year and a half of just waiting for big characters like Shadow, Silver, and Super Sonic to be in the game. Now the final big skin is being added in. I'm very excited to see that. But before getting to the fastest way to unlock this character, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys can see anytime I upload a new video or a new short or live stream or anything like that. With that being said, let's get into everything new in this new update. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna go over in this new update is the new Robux shop. So obviously, as you can see right here, there aren't any new Robux chow, there's no Sonic chow, Shadow chow, or anything like that. Although they are doing really well as far as trades go, they're very valuable. I've seen a lot of people pay a crap ton of red star rings in order to get these chow uh, there aren't any available this week kind of makes sense is already a huge update so but what we do have is we have a holiday sale so obviously we have all of the winter skins available as you can see we have santa sonic we have winter jet we have elf tails we have winter cream we have reindeer knuckles and that is all that we have right now for the robux shop now that we've done that let's get into the holiday shop all right this holiday shop is is absolutely insane there is so much to talk about here we have holiday classic sonic we have holiday cheer big we also have the we also have holiday tornado we also have toy robot supersonic toy robot holiday shadow we also have the gingerbread chow evergreen chow and the candy king trail which that's a new trail there's a lot to talk about about this shop this is a big deal specifically for the gingerbread chow now for those of you guys who don't know the gingerbread chow is an event chow now the event chow is used specifically for scavenger hunt events it was very relevant in sonic in sss 1.0 when you have enchantments and whatnot basically what the gingerbread chow does is whenever you're collect whenever you're collecting items like for a scavenger hunt like candy canes or whatever or something or any anything like that it multiplies the amount that you get. So if you have a if you have a gingerbread chow which has like a plus three event, for example, and instead of getting one candy cane, you'll get three. So now not only do we have one new skin in Super Sonic itself, we also have two other skins, which automatically makes this this update one of the big ones. So all right, now that we've gone over that, we've gone over the holiday shop, we've gone over the Robux shop. There's nothing else new in the game besides the big one that we've all been waiting to talk about. Let's go and unlock Super Sonic. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the Super Sonic event. Here are all the tasks that we need to do. We need to power up the Chaos Emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds are back from Eggman thanks to you and Silver. Tails made a nifty machine to recharge them, so let's get to work. So we have seven Chaos Emeralds, which means seven tasks to complete in order to power them up. Now, the first task that I would recommend doing, we have to power the yellow, purple, green, red, cyan, blue, and silver Chaos Emeralds. Now, the first task we have to do is collect 2,000 gold rings. This isn't just uh, get, you know, a certain amount of gold rings. You have to actually collect individual rings. So even if you have a Chow that has really good ring stats, that doesn't matter. You have to actually collect individual rings. The next task is collect 750 rebirth energy orbs, which that's new actually. We haven't had to do we haven't had to use rebirth energy in a long time since the Android Shadow Green event. That hasn't really been relevant, so I really like that they're bringing this back for this event. They're kind of nodding to SSS 1.0 and SSS Reborn when it first came out. So that's really cool. So we have to collect 750 rebirth energy orbs. You have to do that by doing time trials and races, so that's gonna be really easy. Next task is collect 2,000 Chaos Orbs. Next, you have to destroy 500 Badniks. Next, you have to do 500 Hoverboard Trick Shots. Next, you have to do 500 Hoverboard Tricks. 300 seconds in boost. 300 boost for 300 seconds in a race. And complete 20 time trials. Now, this is a very straightforward event. You can do all of these at the same time, which is really cool. So this is not going to take too long at all. And also, we have some really cool wars. We have the Emerald Energy Trail, which looks really cool. And when I have it equipped, you'll get to see how it looks like. And we also have the Hero Chaos Chow, which is the third out of the trio. The first one was the Light Chaos Chow, the next was the Dark Chaos Chow, and now we have the final Chow. We have the final Chaos Chow out of the Trinity, which I we'll see how good the stats are. So, all right, now the fastest way to unlock this, first thing you have to do is queue up for the races. So you wanna be doing these races, you wanna be always queued up. Make sure you are doing the Emerald Coast and Metal Madness race, because these are the races that take the longest amount of time to complete, which means more time, more boost time, which means you'll be able to complete that event a lot quicker. Now, in between races, you want to just run around Green Hill Zone and collect rings and chaos orbs while you're doing that. You're already, been, you're already going to be doing that in the races, but make sure you're doing that while you're waiting for the races. You don't need to worry about collecting Rebirth Energy, because completing the races will give you Rebirth Energy anyway. So really, in reality, you're really doing 
four tasks at the same time, which is really cool. So this should go by really quick. Honestly, the task that's going to take the longest is destroying 500 badniks. So we're going to continue doing that. We're going to go and collect the yellow chaos emerald. All right, so we just finished the first task, which is collect 2,000 gold rings. Now, as you can see, because I've just been doing this tactic of just doing races and then collecting stuff in between, you can see that we are almost done with the boost and race. We're almost done powering the blue chaos emerald, green and purple chaos emerald. You can see you get rebirth energy really fast it did not take that long so all right we're now that we've done that we have the emerald energy trail which looks really cool but let's get right into the next one let's try and get this done as, as fast as possible all right we just finished collecting all of the rebirth energy which i just realized rebirth energy is purple and the chaos emerald is purple that's really cool anyway two chaos emeralds are charged already i did catch a glimpse of eggman and it looks like he's working with neo metal sonic we just got a confirmation Neo Metal Sonic is coming to the game. Is he going to be a boss fight or is he going to just be an NPC or a skin? I don't know, but I'm very excited. Now, we'll, we'll get back into that. I'll, we're not going to see him for this update. We're probably going to see him sometime next week. But let's try and finish collecting the rest of these Chaos Emeralds. Use, obviously, as you can see, it has only been about 20 minutes and I've already collected two of these Chaos Emeralds and I'm, o I'm almost finished powering up the other two. All right, so now that we've collected the blue Chaos Emerald, now we need to move on to the next step in doing this update, which is hoverboard trick shots, destroying Bandix, and completing time trials. We have to keep this up. If Eggman and Neo Metal Sonic are working with Chaos Emeralds, we have to match that power. Now, you can't really do any of these other, you can't do any of these other tasks at the same time, so you're, this is where it's gonna take a little bit longer. But what I would recommend is first doing the hoverboard tricks by going to this spring in Green Hill Zone next to the big loop de loop. And then after that, we will go to Emerald Hill to destroy Badniks and Time Trials because that is the best place to do that event. Yo, we just got the Cyan Chaos Emerald. I found Eggman and Neo Metal Sonic, but they were fighting each other. I'm not sure what this is. Wait, is that Eggman over there? They're playing into the Sonic. For those guys who are not Sonic fans and don't know of the greatest Sonic game that has ever been made, Sonic Heroes, in the game's main campaign, Neo Metal Sonic is a creation of Dr. Eggman. Basically, Dr. Eggman made like a superior version of Metal Sonic, who ended up turning against him and became the main bad guy. So basically, all of Sonic and his friends need to work with Dr. Eggman to beat Neo Metal Sonic by turning to Super Sonic, which is really cool. So uh, it's, it looks like they're playing into that, so maybe we'll be able to get Eggman as a skin. That'd be, that'd be really cool. But anyway, all right, we've collected almost all the Chaos Emeralds. Now we need to move to the next part of this update, which is going to Emerald Hill to complete the last two tasks, which is destroy 500 Badniks and complete 20 time trials. So again, you won't be able to do this, you won't be able to do these two tasks at the same time, unfortunately. The Destroying the Badniks is probably gonna take the longest amount of time. That's what took me the longest and was the last task that I completed. Doing the time trials is gonna be really easy. All you have to do is just do time trial one really do Emerald Hill Zone Trial 1 because it's the fastest one, which means we'll get this done pretty, pretty instantaneously. It's obviously it's going to take a little bit as, you know, as these events do, but I, I'm honestly very happy with this event. I'm very happy with what Sonic, I'm very happy with what GameFam has done with Sonic Speed Simulator. These updates have been absolutely insane. There's just been banger after banger after banger. We've got trading, we got fast friends, which changed the dynamic of the game. We've got trading, we've got all these different things. We've got silver. We also got, it's it's just absolutely insane. I'm very happy with what they've been doing. It's just been banger after banger after banger. It's, it's really cool to see just how much SSS has grown in this time period that it's had. I know the team, the dev team has definitely taken a lot of notes and has looked at what us as a fan base and us as players want from the game. Trading was something that we wanted really, really early on and now we have that in the game. We all wanted Supersonic, we all wanted Silver. We all wanted a new way to get red star rings, which trading kind of serves as that purpose. So if you have any good, if you have any good chow and good skins, like now you have a way to get more red star rings. I mean, when I first started, I had zero red star rings. I was literally playing the game based off of adventures and getting red star rings based off of adventures. Literally no other way. Now that we did trading, I now I'm at like 20, 20,000, something like that. So honestly i'm very happy with what game has done and the fact that they're adding stories into this update makes me really happy because the stories in the scavenger hunts was something that i really missed in sonic speed simulator and from the og updates like i always talk about the meteor mystery one you know the shadow update was very story based you had to get android shadow and you had to get the codes from hollow metal sonic and stuff like that so it's it's very cool to see that they've added that into the game because that basically means that this update's nearly perfect so all right, we have 
collected the green chaos emerald now i hope that traitor reaches peak form and i get squat from it <laughs> if that bot takes over the world then i won't be able to sonic go fix this okay so they are playing to sonic heroes now we only have two chaos emeralds to collect now. <laughs> so they are playing to the sonic heroes bot line i think i really want eggman as a skin i think i think if they did an eggman skin literally everyone who plays that skin That'd be absolutely, absolutely incredible. So, okay, all right. Now let's go to let's go to Emerald Hill Zone and finish this update and finally unlock Super Sonic. Ah, this is gonna be crazy. I can't believe this. It seems like we'll be fighting Neo Metal Sonic. No time to waste. Only one more Chaos Emerald left. Yes, sir. Only one more left, and we have Super Sonic. So it does look like we're gonna be fighting Neo Metal Sonic. If if I'm really if I'm really reading into this dialogue, I think that we might have a Neo Metal Sonic boss fight, which. That'll be really cool. I, I hope it's not just a race, because I just I won't care. I will not care if it's just if it's just a race and that's all it is. Alright, we have one chaos somewhere left. Now this is the hard part. If you have the tornado, I would recommend using that in order. I'd recommend using that in, in Emerald Hill. It just is a lot easier. I think technically it's faster to just go go on foot and homing attack all of them. Um, obviously you can see we have we have the hoverboard right here, which looks really cool. Uh, I'm not crazy about the hoverboards. Um, I think they're pretty in insignificant in the game, but, you know, it's fine. It's, it's whatever. But, um, yeah, I think the fastest way would probably be to do this on foot. So, um, that's what that's what I would recommend. It's, it's a little bit more laborious. Obviously, you're going to have to, use, you know, what, if you use a controller or if, you use, if you're on PC or whatever. But, all right, let's do this. Let's collect the last one. We have a couple more left. We have a couple more badniks to destroy before we finally unlock supersonic i this is absolutely incredible we've waited a year and a half for this moment i am so excited i'm so excited to see this all right here we go we're gonna destroy a couple more bad nicks one two three four five six seven eight eight oh, come on eight nine all right we got one more and boom Thank you, friend. Neo Metal Sonic won't know what hit him. Are you ready? It's time to take out the trash Super Sonic style. Oh my gosh. Let's go. He looks, dude, he looks awesome. All right, let's 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 take a look. Let's take a look at this skin officially. Dude, there we go. We have just unlocked Super Sonic in the testing servers. This looks, this look, oh, the idol animation, so cool. Oh, this looks awesome. All right, so we're on the testing servers right now, so. The way the testing servers have been, the tasks haven't really changed too much as far as how much you have to do. So expect this. Now check this out. We have flight with supersonic. You can fly as supersonic. That is so cool, man. Game Family was really listening when everyone was talking about this. Dude, this is so sick. Now it's based on boost, so your boost energy is, is what you use for flight. Oh, that is crazy. That looks awesome, guys. Dude, we just unlocked Supersonic in Sonic Speed Simulator, and he looks he looks absolutely amazing. All right, so I, and I know you guys are probably curious about this. He is faster when you're just using regular boost on the ground. He is like two times as fast as like any other character. Also, I I just tried this. You cannot use boosts in race. His his flight is disabled when you're doing a race. So for any of the uh, any of you guys who are trying to nerf the races by using Supersonic, it's not going to work. We saw how that worked in Classic Sonic Sim in Classic Sonic Simulator. This looks incredible. That that's crazy. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We just unlocked Supersonic as well as the Hero Chaos Chow and the Emerald Energy Trails. And now, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer to get the holiday skins. So make sure you tune in tomorrow because we're going to be posting uh, everything you missed in this update when it gets put on the testing server. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get notified every time we get a new video. Guys, we're going to get Neo Metal Sonic next week. This is going to be a crazy... This has already been a crazy few weeks. I, they're going to cap... Hopefully, they'll cap it off with a, with a really good boss fight. But that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. Thank you guys for it. We're coming up on, we're coming up on a year of, of YouTube, uh, which is absolutely crazy. I can't, I can't believe that. We're gonna get, we're get I would have, I would have been doing YouTube for a year. So ideally, if we can get to 5K before that, that'd be really cool. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.